What up team, good morning. It is about 9.45 on Wednesday. And this is day three of classes online, day two vlog. This morning I have anatomy class online at 10 and then I have sociology at, oh wait, no. I have sociology at 10 and then anatomy at 11. Um, and I get allergy shots twice a week at the clinic on campus, which is a facility on campus that is actually still open, which is awesome. Very thankful for that. Um, so I have allergy shots today at one. I am about to make some oatmeal and some coffee. And at some point today, I'm gonna do some yoga. Oh, I woke up to 12 emails from school, from church, and from fellow students. Fellow students. One of them, my professor is telling me that everything is online now, which is, old news professor, but <laughs> thank you. He sent me like where he's gonna post everything and then I got random like course schedule updates for like all my classes. I've gotten so many different new schedules. Um, so it's pretty confusing. And I got a bunch of emails from my church and different m members in my church telling me that now we are suspending all um, gatherings on Wednesday nights, all Sunday activities, everything. I'm a part of the music team, the praise team at church on Wednesday nights and Sundays sometimes, we will still be there. We'll be doing like live music, but we'll be live streaming it. Um, and the pastor will sleep, still be there. Actually, we might not be live streaming it. We will be pre-recording it and then uh, posting it on Sundays on our Facebook page and Wednesday nights somewhere. Maybe we'll be live streaming on Wednesdays. I don't know, I'll let you know. I got an email from one of my friends in one of my classes and she was like, hey, um, have you done this lab yet? Like, can we, um, can you just help me out? Because it's confusing and I was like, cool, I haven't done it yet. So I'm gonna do that today as well. I got some water and I'm refilling the Brita filter because literally every single time you use the Brita filter, you should refill it, just saying. So I always put my creamer first because when you put the creamer first, then you pour the coffee and then the creamer gets all stirred, and you don't have to use a spoon. It's raining outside, it's um, so nice. Also disregard this random traffic cone that's in my fire pit, don't know what that's from. I like keeping my window open just because like the breeze and also I can hear the rain and I can hear people talking and like birds singing and stuff and so it just makes me feel not as alone in my room. And also I can hear the bells on campus, so it still like keeps me kind of on a schedule, <laughs> which is good. So I poured coffee in this mug. This is my favorite mug. I was at some vendor's fair with my mom. She was helping a friend with a jewelry vendor. And uh, I was walking around looking at all the other vendors and there was this man and woman and they were uh, sitting together selling pottery. And so I went up there and I think their names are Chris and Joy. I was looking at all the things, but I had like $3 and pottery is rightfully so more expensive than that. I didn't get anything, but I just talked to them for a long time and it was when I first went to college. And so um, I was talking with them. I was just talking with them about Jesus and talking about um, churches and um, like how I was able to get involved in church ministries and stuff on campus and off campus. And they just told me about their lives with Christ. And it was a really great conversation. Um, I'm super glad that we had like a deeper conversation rather than like, oh, I like your pottery, which is good too, but what else? Call me when you can, please. Just got a text from my college pastor telling me to call him. So I'll call him. We were talking for a long time. And then way later, hours later, um, Miss Joy came up to me and she gave me this mug. And she was like, hey, this is an M, M for Matthew, right? And I was like, yeah. And she said, okay, I don't really know why, but um, God just told me to give you this. And I was like, wow, thanks. I really appreciate that. She gave this to me and I was just going through some rough stuff. And so the fact that she said that God told her to give it to me just as a sign of love was just um, a small nudge that God is always there and um, he knows what I'm going through. Regular class time is over, so I am gonna be done for right now. It's hard right now because my anatomy professor is, hold on, I'm just gonna, let me sit and tell you. It's especially hard right now because my anatomy, my anatomy professor is putting all of her content online and um, she is a mom to a seven-year-old who is out of school and so she's having to homeschool him and she's having to 
put all of her handwritten notes into typed notes and upload everything. She uploaded the notes for today, but she hasn't like gone through them like lecture audio wise. And so it was hard because I'm just like reading notes, um, which is totally helpful, but like, I don't know like what, it's just kind of like reading a textbook, but not fully understanding it. And so um, that's what's going on right now. But she's kicking butt because she's literally homeschooling a seven year old and being a college professor <laughs> and just everything else she has to do in her life. Nevertheless, it's difficult. Whenever she posts audio notes, I'm going to re go through the notes, I guess, listen to what she has to say, try to read the book. My friend's in Nashville where I did yoga teacher training at Shakti Power Yoga in Nashville are doing Instagram live yoga as well as their in-person classes. I think as of right now, they're just doing live stream yoga. I'm going to join them at 12, which is in like five minutes. Hey, oh, we just ate lunch. Um, friends are over. This is Angie. I told you guys that she was here yesterday. Um, and this is Andre. This is my roommate. How do I that way? <laughs> This is Alexis holding trash. We're just in the living room. We had lunch around the coffee table and I'm gonna learn about the urinary system. So we were just talking about what if Clifford was live action? And we were talking about it like, what if, what if it was a comedic documentary and it was like Clifford, Clifford was just a dog who like wanted to just be a normal dog, but he grew up and like as he got bigger, the more things that he like demolished, like with every step, he would like step on a community or like every poop, he would like just like wipe out a nation. <laughs> so we were like, what if it was just like shaky camera, camera shots of Emily, his owner being like, Clifford! <laughs> oh, flash forward. I am, this is the next day, and I am editing that video, and I just wanted to throw out there that I said like 13 times in that last clip, so that's something I need to work on. Cool, cool, cool. Just lost power. Not sure why. So, got a window, got a candle. We're doing good. I just looked at the time, and it is 3 o'clock, and I definitely had an appointment to get allergy shots at 1 o'clock, so um, I called them, and I'm on the way. The clinic is really busy. I don't know if you can see, I'm trying awkwardly not to record them, but people are having to move out of their dorms if they live on campus, but they can't do like a move out mania thing because the whole reason why everybody's leaving is so they're not here at the same time. And so people are having to move out at different times and there's literally like three people moving out um, right now. Um, so people are gonna be moving out for the next few weeks. It's gonna be pretty wild. Cornerstone, it is Wednesday night. This is my friend Lauren. Cornerstone is normally Wednesday nights, and that is the college worship night at First Baptist. As you can see, there's nobody here and half the lights are out. <laughs> um, but we are doing Cornerstone, which is live streaming tonight on Instagram. And um, they provided pizza for us and lemon pie. So praise <laughs> the Lord always. We're here early, eating, and we're going to practice, and then we're going to do it. Amen. Um, what's your YouTube? <laughs> My YouTube is Lauren Haley. Look me up. <laughs> this lemon pie slaps. Go. Hey yo, doing laundry. 
Cornerstone was super cool tonight. We live streamed on Instagram. We had a few songs at the beginning and then the senior pastor and the college pastor came up and did a Q&A. Students messaged them on Instagram and on, sorry, let me come down maybe. Um, yeah, students messaged them on Instagram and uh, just like texted them different questions that they had um, regarding the gospel and just other things. And a lot of them had to do with the coronavirus, like what's going on and um, just like, how do I continue to share my faith um, while in a season of quarantine? How do I deal with the guilt of lost opportunities from people that I didn't get the chance to talk to who I won't see um, the rest of the semester who or who I may literally never see again because I thought I was going to have the rest of the semester to talk with them, but I won't anymore. And so um, that's, a, that's a big deal. That's a big question to deal with. And it was really good to listen to what both of them had to say. We got to worship through music at the beginning and at the end, and um, <laughs> we got cut off at the very end because Instagram, we didn't know this, but we found it out, Instagram uh, only allows you to live stream for an hour. So if you're live streaming anything for over than an hour, letting you know, you'll get cut off. After Cornerstone, I went over to my friend Kat's house and we watched Frozen 2, which was really good. Um, very different than I thought it was gonna be. Literally had no idea. Um, but it was going to end up like that, but it was good. So no spoilers here. Also, I'm trying to figure out how to edit these videos. I have no idea. So currently as I'm recording this, I have not edited anything, um, for today or yesterday. Um, but obviously as you watch it, it will be edited and I will have already figured out this problem. Like the only thing that I've used is windows live movie maker from like in middle school when I was on the news network in middle school and technology has progressed since then so I have no idea really how to edit a video a lot of people told me iMovie but I don't have a Mac so I don't think I can get that on my Windows computer I can do it on my phone but it'll just be small so I would think that would be difficult but I do not know so I'll figure it out by the time you're watching this I've already figured it out I guess good luck